Hi, welcome back to this week's new video. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a Windows 11 virtual machine using VMware Workstation Player on Windows. In this video, we're going to download the Windows 11 installer directly from Microsoft. We're then going to create a new virtual machine and install Windows 11 inside of it. And finally, we're going to complete the setup by installing the VMware Tools package inside of our new machine, which will improve performance and add some extra features. If you don't already have VMware Workstation Player installed on Windows, I have some other videos on my channel demonstrating how to do this, so please go check those out. I'll leave a link for those in the description box below. So let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is download the Windows 11 installer ISO from Microsoft. So we're going to go directly to Microsoft site here and we're going to scroll down and we're going to choose the download Windows 11 disk image option. So we're going to select Windows 11 and this will show us a download button. It won't actually start the download, it'll just take us to the next stage. So choose our language, I'm going to choose English for me and confirm and finally we'll have this button here to download the 64-bit version of Windows 11 so click on there and start our download. Now with our download complete we should be able to go into our downloads folder here and see that we've got the Windows 11 installer ISO so we're ready to set up our virtual machine. So I'm going to start VMware Workstation Player and when the main window loads we're going to click on create a new virtual machine button. So we're going to choose the install disk image file option and browse. So in our downloads folder we should find the Windows 11 ISO. So we're going to click on there and click open and click next. So I'm going to call this machine just Windows 11 and click next. Now Windows 11 needs a TPM module to work. So VMware Workstation Player can create a virtual TPM for us to use, but we need to set a password for it. So just type password in there and we can click next when we've done that. So at this point, you can change the virtual disk size for our virtual machine. I'm happy with this, so I'm going to click next. And now we can see the specification of our virtual machine, and I'm happy with all of that, so I'm going to click finish to power on our virtual machine. Now at this point, VMware Workstation create our encrypted virtual disk. So with that done, our virtual machine will boot as usual. So at this point, it's important that we click inside of our virtual machine window because in a moment we're going to have to press a key to start the Windows installation process. So when you see this message, just press any key. So I've just pressed the space bar for this. So I'm just going to maximise this window and zoom in so you can see a bit better. So the first thing we need to do is set our language and click next and then the install now button. So at this point, I don't want to enter an activation key, so I'm going to click I don't have a product key. Now we need to select the version of Windows that we want to install. So I'm selecting Windows 11 Pro and clicking Next. So now we just need to accept the license agreement and click Next. So at this point, we're going to choose a custom installation option and select our virtual disk and click Next. So at this point, Windows installation will start copying data to our virtual disk and we'll come back when the next part of the setup is loaded. So after a short while, we'll be into the second part of the installation process. So we'll choose our region and click yes and accept our keyboard layout and we'll skip adding a second keyboard layout. So at this point, the installer will check for updates and the setup will continue. So now we need to enter a name for our new system. 
So just type a name in there and click next. So the install will now reboot again and load back up. Now back in the setup, I'm going to select how we'd like to set up this device. So I'm going to set it up for personal use and click next. So at this point, we either need to sign in to our Microsoft account or create a local account. So I'm going to create a local account. So you can enter your Microsoft account here, but I'm just going to create a local account. So I'm just going to type in here and a Anything there. And you'll see the message, oops, something went wrong, which is normal. So click next. So now we should get the opportunity to create a local user. So we're going to type a name in there for a local user account and click next. And enter a password. And then just confirm. So then we need to complete the security questions by just putting in some random answers for each one and then we'll continue with the setup. So what we're going to do is run through some of these user preferences and I'm going to choose no to all of these options. So that completes, the installer will do another check for updates then, after a short while, it should reboot into our new Windows 11 desktop. So we'll skip on forward to that point. So we're now in our new Windows 11 virtual machine. But as you can see, the mouse movement is just a little bit jerky and the resolution is a bit low. But we can fix that by installing the VMware Tools package so VMware Tools is a set of drivers and applications that will help our Windows 11 virtual machine run a little bit better. So we'll open the file explorer and click on this PC. And as you can see, we currently have the Windows 11 installer in the DVD drive. So we're going to come out of there to the VMware Workstation Player window, click on the player and manage and install VMware Tools. So now you can see in our virtual machine, we've now got a new DVD and this is a VMware Tools DVD. So if we double click on there, so we'll first be prompted by user account control if we want to allow this application to make changes. So we're gonna click yes. And then the VMware Tools installation wizard will start. So with the VMware Tools installation started, we just need to click Next. And we'll accept Typical as our install option and click Next and click Install. So the VMware Tools installation wizard will run through the installation for us. And then we'll need to reboot our Windows VM after that. So when the wizard completes, we just need to click on Finish and click yes to reboot our device now. Now our VM has finished rebooting, what you should see is that the mouse is a lot more responsive than what it was and the resolution looks a lot better than it did before. So I hope this video was useful. Please do consider subscribing if you can. I really, really appreciate it. Or perhaps pop a comment below if there's anything you'd like to see in a future video or give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you soon.